so let's see how many types of animal tissues are there there are four different kinds of tissues present in the bodies of animals number one is connective tissue number two is epithelial tissue number three is muscle tissue number four is nervous tissue in today's lecture we will discuss two of the types number one will be epithelial tissue and number two will be connective tissue so what is epithelial tissue epithelial tissue is the tissue that covers the outside of the body and lines the organs and cavities what is the basic function of epithelial tissue the functions of epithelial tissues are protection of the organs secretion of substances absorption of the useful materials and transport of various materials epithelial tissues consist of the cells that are tightly packed together this means that the cells are packed in such a way that there is no space between them there are five different kinds of epithelial tissues the types of epithelial tissues are squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium columnar epithelium ciliated columnar epithelium and the last one is stratified squamous epithelium let us see each type one by one number one is squamous epithelium as you can see a zoomed image here that it consists of the single layer of flat cells as you can see in the diagram there is a single layer of cells which are flattened and their function is the movement of different materials along the organs these are found in lungs heart and blood vessels and in lungs hearts and blood vessels these are responsible for the movement of different materials the second type is cuboidal epithelium as you can see in the diagram it consists of a single layer of cube shaped cells the function of cuboidal epithelium is the secretion of the substances these are found in kidney tubes and small glands where these are responsible for secretion of materials glands are responsible for hormone secretion and kidney has its own specialized secretion so simple cuboidal epithelium is present out there for the secretion of materials or third type is simple columnar epithelium it consists of elongated cells as you can see in the diagram elongated cells are present their function is also for the secretion of materials but the site of occurrence of simple columnar epithelium is different from that of cuboidal epithelium as cuboidal epithelium was present in the kidney tubes and glands but columnar epithelium is present in the alimentary canal and gall bladder where it is responsible for making secretions in alimentary canal it is present for the secretion of various substances for example it secretes various enzymes and juices for the digestion of food and in gall bladder it is also responsible for the secretion of materials for example bile is a secretion made in the gall bladder so simple columnar epithelium helps in making that secretion the next type is ciliated columnar epithelium it consists of elongated cells and cilia is present on the top of it so it is responsible for the propulsion of mucus to move the mucus in the surrounding areas it is present in trachea which is also called as or windpipe and bronchi where it is responsible for the propulsion of mucus it means that it spreads the mucus in the uh, nearby areas so that it provides protection next type is stratified squamous epithelium as you can see in the diagram it consists of many layers of flat cells there are many layers of flat cells arranged in stratified squamous epithelium and its function is for the protection of the inner parts of the body of animals it is responsible for 
protecting the inner parts of the bodies of animals and their location is these are found in the lining of the esophagus lining of the mouth and all over the skin as skin is also a protective organ esophagus and mouth also need protection so stratified squamous epithelium is present out there to provide protection to the mouth and esophagus also so these are various diagrams including the simple squamous epithelium simple cuboidal epithelium simple columnar epithelium ciliated columnar epithelium and stratified squamous epithelium now students open the page number 75 of your textbooks i am going to read the paragraphs one by one for your better understanding epithelial tissue epithelial tissue covers the outside of the body as i have told you before and it lines the inner organs and cavities the cells of this tissue are tightly packed together there is no space between them it means and there is further categorization of this tissue depending upon the number of the cell layers number 1 is squamous epithelium cuboidal epithelium columnar epithelium ciliated columnar epithelium and stratified squamous epithelium squamous epithelium consists of a single layer of flat cells then their location is given these are found in heart blood vessels and lungs and these are responsible for the movement of materials number 2 is cuboidal epithelium which is responsible for making cell secre making secretions and this consists of single layer of cube shaped cells their location is kidney tubes and small glands number 3 is columnar epithelium which consists of elongated cells these are found in elementary canal and gall bladder and responsible for making secretions number 4 is ciliated columnar epithelium which consists of elongated cells which are lined with cilia these are present in trachea bronchi and these are responsible for the propulsion of mu mucus and mucus protects the inner parts as i have told you before stratified squamous epithelium consists of many layers of flat cells their function is protection of the body parts and these are found in esophagus and mouth and all over the skin for protection purpose so this was all about the epithelial tissue our next topic is connective tissue as the name indicates it is called as connective tissue because it performs a connecting function as it supports and binds the other tissues okay so connective tissue is the tissue which supports and binds the other tissues and it consists of the cells which are loosely packed together there is a space between the cells and these loosely packed cells are present in the jelly like material which is called as matrix so there are many examples of the connective tissue including cartilage bone and blood other examples include ligaments and tendons the example of ligaments and tendons are not included in your book so i recommend you to write it on your book and the other one is adipose tissue also adipose tissue which is present in the kidneys in the skin and in the abdomen and these are responsible adipose tissues are responsible for the secretion of various hormones and for the energy storage also write the function of adipose tissue on your book also this is responsible for the energy storage and secretion of hormones these are all the connective tissues as you can see in the diagram these are various types of connective tissues first one is cartilage as the cells of the cartilage are loosely packed together you see on the diagram cartilage cells are loosely packed and these are present in the jelly like or rubbery matrix jelly like material in which cartilage cells are present these this is called as matrix the other one is blood blood cells are also scattered in the fluid called as plasma you can see loosely packed blood cells are present in the plasma number 3 is bone as bone cells are scattered in a matrix which is um, hard than that of the other rubbery matrix and the plasma so 
bone matrix is hard and the cells are scattered or loosely packed and present in the hard matrix number 4 is adipose tissue example in which fat droplets contains the nuclei that are scattered in it now we will take an overview of this connective tissue topic from the book also so connective tissue as i have told you before it serves a connective function it supports and binds the other tissues and unlike the epithelial tissue the connective tissue has the cells that are scattered over the jelly like material which is called as matrix we can also call it as extracellular matrix examples of the uh, connective tissues are cartilage which are present at the ends of the bones and in the external layer as you touch your external layer there is a loose bone like structure present which is called as cartilage nose and trachea bone is also the example of connective tissue and blood the other example is adipose tissue which is found around the kidneys under the skin in the abdomen and the other example i told you is ligaments and tendons ligaments are the tissues that attach bone to bone and tendons are the tissues that attach muscle to bone so write it along with the other examples of connective tissue and the function of connective tissue is providence of energy and to provide support to the organs so this topic is present on page number 74 and 75 on your textbook and the diagram of the connective tissue is given on page number 76 so learn it properly from the book and uh, if you have any difficulty regarding it you can ask me freely wish you good luck and allah hafiz